My grandfather's story is the classic story of the American dream, of making something from nothing, of building a new life in the new world. He was the first generation born in the United States, and he was determined to work hard and succeed, and he did. In his teens, his friends nicknamed him Richie because he was always talking about his plans for wealth, success, and happiness. He started out as a salesman working on commission, and he was soon bringing in so many sales that his boss begged him to take a salaried position to save the company money. It takes a certain type of person to live that American dream of 1950s suburbia. It takes a certain type of man, caring but sometimes absent, supportive but sometimes bullying, intelligent and sometimes arrogant. By the time I was born, my grandfather had retired and was writing a dissertation that he titled, It's Yours for the Asking. He was the warmer, kinder version of himself when I was growing up, only occasionally revealing the aggressive salesman he had had to be when he was working his way up in the world. I loved him, I was in awe of him, and I desperately hoped that I could be as brilliant, as loving, as witty, and as successful as he. He died in 2007, and I started wondering about the American Dream narrative that he had so nearly realized. They say the American dream is a moving target. It is a promise of endless possibilities and ever new frontiers. It is about the next thing, the newer thing, the higher thing. As you can see, it's completely new. New from bumper to bumper and so beautiful. See the USA in your Chevrolet. The Rockies way out west are calling you. Drive your Chevrolet through the USA where fields of golden wheat pass and review. Whether traveling lighter with a load that's heavy. Performance is sweeter, nothing can beat her. Life is completer in a Chevy. So make a date today to see the USA and see it in your
crazy new way to send the message today. It flashed on a screen too quick to see. But still you get it subliminally. Men and women establish businesses in the hope of making a profit. Thus, they earn their livelihood by supplying goods and services which others desire. The world is so full of these goods and services that we take them for granted. Yet without them, we could have almost none of the things that we have come to consider necessary for our comfort and safety. Yes, fun to see, fun to drive, fun to buy. started unbeknownst to me when my mother died and I played for her but also um, my father who had been up for about 48 hours uh, started, went to sleep when I started to play and he woke up saying I haven't felt this refreshed in so long and how can I support you? My grandfather's parents had immigrated from Eastern Europe, and they struggled at first in their new home. My grandfather promised himself that his parents, his children, and his children's children would never be in that position again. And true to his word, he looked after us all. Your baby, yours to love, protect, care for. To be sure he gets the best of milk, ask your doctor about pet evaporator. I have it ready. No, the thank you is for him. No, this one. Oh, I didn't personally oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. That, that, that's part of what I understand. Mom and I wanted. Grandma and I wanted. We wanted to. Yeah, be careful with the head. Yeah, I, sp I spoke to B. And she says, well, now we need one more thing. And then we've completed our job. Thank you. 